Good morning, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video here. It's a Friday morning here in Michigan. It is February the 22nd. It is 8.22 in the morning. And my wife just left to have breakfast with a friend. And so I'm alone. And I think this will be the only time today that I will be able to make this video. I go to the book nook this morning. As you all know, I volunteer at the library used bookstore from 10 to 1. I'll come home and I will drift through existence. Yeah, I wrote in my diary. This is February 22nd, 2019. I'm on page for the year 2019, I'm on page 162. First of all, I I went to thrift stores yesterday uh, around where we live, and um, this is what I found. I didn't really find much. I only went to I went to Salvation Army. I went to Goodwill. At Goodwill, I didn't find anything. North side of Holland. I found some stuff at Salvation Army, and then I went to Holland Rescue Mission Northside Thrift Store. And uh, all I found at, well, first of all, I found at the uh, Salvation Army, the Habsburg Legacy 1867 to 1939 by Brad F. Pauley. As we know, at the, at the end of the First World War, you had the breakup of the Habsburg, Habsburg Empire, so uh, and how that affected uh, leading up to the Second World War. And then I found I already had this book. This is by Paul Thorax, "The Kingdom by the Sea: A Journey Around Great Britain." I bought this. Now this is. This is the, the edition I had. The one I bought was really beat. No, this is the one I did buy. And the one we had down the lower level was really beat up, so I'm taking that to the book nook this morning. But this one I'll keep. As you all know, I collect Paul Thorax. I have almost all of his writings. He wrote novels. Uh, he wrote travel books. He wrote essays. He's written all kinds of things, but I kind of like him. He's an easy read. And then I found another Salman Rushdie novel I didn't have, Luca and the Fire of Life. I also collect him, but I haven't read him in years. But I didn't know if I had this one, but I didn't have it. So I was kind of pleased with myself that I found one I didn't have of his writings. And then I found The American Language by H.L. Macon. Uh, what this is, I, I had... The American Language, this uh, says the American Language and Inquiry into the Development of English in the United States by H. L. Macon. This was published way back in, oh, a long time ago. Uh, it first came out in 1919, and then he did revisions of it, four or five revisions. And the last one came out in like 1936 but I had this one but I didn't know he did two supplements <laughs> and what these are are revisions of the original ones so these are supplements volumes one and volume two of the American language I collect H.L. Macon he was a journalist editor he wrote essays he wrote a book on the philosophy of Nietzsche he's written all kinds of he's kind of like a, a public intellectual He's a very interesting person. I have I collect his writings. I have his bi a biography, and I think he wrote an autobiography. And he's just an interesting American writer, journalist, thinker. Then I found this art book, Pe Pedro Peregrino, Master of the Renaissance. So I know I like books like this. I like. I like art books and 
I like on the Renaissance and so I kind of like I like the cover of this I like that cover of that picture of it's supposed to be the Virgin Mary Let's see we have all kinds of things like that so those are the used books I found I didn't really find much I wasn't really into it I, I wandered around I had some death metal on this car stereo and I came home as well eleven ten had lunch and day went by. This is Friday reads uh, what I'm gonna be reading the uh, I'm gonna be reading today I plan to read uh, the Age of Light, a novel by Whitney. Shranar, 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 and I also reading. They're both on the deal with the. It's a story. These are both historical fiction. The photographer Lee Miller and it, the the beginning. The novels center around her relationship with a surrealist painter and photographer, Man Ray, in Paris, just before the outbreak of the Second World War and her hanging around the Surrealists and the painters and Bohemians in Paris before the outbreak of the of the war. It's about her relationship. And by other things, it's about her discovering herself as a photographer and her, you know, her life. I, I planned, when I'm at the library today, I'm gonna look if I can find a biography on Lee Miller. So I'll be reading those. I got in the mail yesterday a book called Preaching Through Romans, which is the Epistle of Romans in the New Testament. Preaching Romans, Four Perspectives, Scott McKnight and Joseph B. Monsier, Monsier editors. And uh, I got out to look at reading Romans to the centuries from the early church to Karl Barth by editors by our Jeffrey B. Greenman and Timothy Larson are editors. I also plan to read this weekend The Spiritual Life by Berenica. Exalted Above the Heavens, The Risen Ascended Christ by Peter C. Orr. The Fire Within, St. Teresa of Avila, St. John of the Cross and, and the Gospel and Prayer by Thomas Dubray. So that's why I plan to look at this. Well, I've been reading these all week and continue to read them through the weekend. If I read anything Christian, there'll be fire within. I read this the other morning, Exalted by the Heavens, The Risen Center Christ by Peter C. Orr. Then I read uh, Capapenius, Ver Verenica of Spiritual Life, translated out of Latin or Dutch. So those are kind of things on my desk. I got out to look at this morning, Saving Righteousness, Studies in Paul and Justification, New Perspective by Michael Byrd, and The Apostle Paul and the Christian Life, Ethical and Missional Implications of the New Perspective, edited by Scott McKnight and Joseph B. Monahe, Monahe, A. Reformation Readings of Paul, Explorations in History and Acts of Jesus, Edited by Michael Allen and Jonathan A. Lambog, Lambog. And this is by Garwood P. Anderson, Paul's New Perspective, Charting a Sociological Journey. I'm looking at, the, at these this morning before I go to the book nook and go through this day. Yeah, I want to get these used books that I got at the thrift store downstairs, back in the lower level. So yeah, today is a sunny day here in Michigan. You kind of get that feeling of spring is, is coming. The birds are getting more active. That's about it. I got books coming in the mail maybe today. I ordered a bunch of stuff from the New York Classic Review books. I, was supposed to get, I ordered f four or five of those. They had a 50% off sale, uh, winter sale, and I Got them for almost nothing, like seven dollars a volume, something like that. 
So I got a really nice letter this morning from a, a viewer who watches my videos. Uh, really uh, reaching out to a brother in Christ. I really enjoyed the letter and I plan to respond to it sometime in the next couple of days or next week. So I really like the emails. I like comments. I like interaction with people who watch my videos. Uh, I did notice that nobody, asked, you know, I asked about um, anybody want to know about the, the Christian and the law and nobody asked about that. I still might do a video on Paul and the law, the Christian ethics. and Because if you, if you read the Bible, there's, especially in the Old Testament, there's the Ten Commandments. There's all these laws, Leviticus and Leviticus and Deuteronomy and uh, Jesus says in the New Testament, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. What does he mean by that? Things like that. So, so I'm not really feeling too chipper. <laughs> I'm not really, I feel kind of, um, I suppose I'm kind of frustrated, I'm kind of mad. I'm a grumpy old man, maybe that's what I am, a grumpy old man. So I'll sign off, I hope you'll have a good weekend, a good Friday reads. Uh, so yeah, so I'll sign off, I'll write some more in my diary, I'll have a cup of coffee. And yeah, I'll keep drifting on the death flow. Until next time, bye.